pain, the fire, was inevitable. Alright, pick up video, we can do that. Let's just go ahead and jump right into that sh shenanigans. Alright, so, um, obviously guys, let me switch the camera so you can see me better. BAM! Obviously, um, I got the C922 Pro Stream webcam. Um, this thing's awesome. That's what you're looking at right now, obviously. Uh, 1080p, 30 frames per second, and then 720, 60 frames. So I'm assuming this is 720 right now. I think it, I think it can Skype in 1080 and then record in 720 or something. I don't even know. It's just one of the top of the line cameras from Logitech, if not the newest. Um, let's see. And this one's cool. You can do a background replacement. So if I put my green screen or blue screen behind me uh, and I click the chroma webcam select, uh, setting, it'll actually take out all the background and it'll do it for me. So I don't actually have to use like a software or go through OBS and mess with that. It just, it's kind of choppy, but it overall, it does the job. Um, if you don't have like a green background or something, it looks horrible because it's like taking out half your face, but um, that's kind of cool. Um, the the uh, audio, as far as talking wise, you can get by if you just Skype and that's all you do. You don't like stream or something. You can get by. Um, but as far as communicating like this, I wouldn't recommend using the webcam for streaming unless you're just, this is like your first time ever streaming and you just saw you got whatever. But this, and it comes with a, uh, a tripod, which is pretty sweet. Um, so if I ever wanted it down here for a video, like on the table or something, I could do that. Um, this was a hundred dollars. But actually, for 100 bucks, this is actually a really awesome webcam, so I do recommend it. The C920, which I have it here. I'll show you guys. Let's see. The C920, that's what I currently have, or was using, kind of. On the Windows 10 on my new PC, it doesn't recognize it at all, so... Um, it's a great webcam, but this one's just got more improvements. This one's 75 new still, um, but I would, if for, for $25 more, just go with this one. It's really worth it, and it's compatible with my Windows. So I don't know if I got a bad webcam. Um, I'm, I'm thinking the software and somewhere along the line with Logitech and, and Windows 10, it didn't connect well, so go with this one. All right. What's up, Bernsey? Just in time for the pickup video. Can you guys hear the music okay? Need it higher, lower? So, moving on. Um, as you guys know, I had an older gaming PC that I used before this one. Um, you guys, If you watched the comparison video I made back when, like in March, excuse me, or in April, uh, you're able to see both of them side by side. You can see the older one. I can always link that in this video, or put it and edit this or whatever. But um, I ended up trading that PC with the Logitech uh, or the CyberPower mouse you saw that I unboxed, along with uh, my old Razer keyboard. Um, I sold, basically traded all three of those pieces of items uh, for. I got an Xbox One again, which some of you already know, but. Uh, I got another Xbox One. It's just a 500 gig. It is, I think, the first generation, but it's itself, it's only a year old. Like, the kid bought it a year ago. Two controllers. Um, let me show you the two controllers. I've got two controllers here. Um, the downside is some of them have, like, some paint marks on them, as you can see. Uh, the kid didn't take the best shape. They, see, they got some marks on them. But, and the system's got some scratches on the glossy part a little bit. Nothing too like into the system but it's definitely looks used I would say um, it came with a bunch of digital games I'm th I think there was like 40 installed and then there's like 20 or 30 ready to be installed so most of them are the uh, games for gold some are actual full games like Titanfall Thief um, and then I got two physical copies he traded me Fallout 4 and Black Ops 3 um, Fallout 4, I'm definitely glad to have again because I didn't really get to play it too much. And then Black Ops 3, I've beaten it before, but 
if I ever want to try something different, whatever. But, um, yeah, I thought it was a really good trade for my position. Already having a nice PC now, I was ready to get rid of the old one. I never hardly used it in the last six months. Um, the only difference is I didn't, I haven't installed Microsoft Word on this yet. That's the only difference. That's pretty much why I kept the other one around, but I still didn't use it then. So I was happy to give it up. Um, free up some space. Got an Xbox One again. I didn't think I'd get another Xbox One this soon. I thought I'd wait till like, like February or March, this coming February, March, or even later on for the Scorpio. But I'm happy to have a little one like this one. Um, I didn't want to go all out again because I'm, I play my PC. And so if I want something to maybe play... Sometimes on the side, a, like a 500 gig first gen's perfect. So it really worked out for me. Um, sure, I could stream on this, but it's just way easier to do it on PC. So last set of things before we move on to the game, I've got these uh, Xbox Magazine game discs. I've picked up all of these. I think there's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There's twenty-two of these original Xbox game magazines. These things are sweet. I don't usually collect things like this, but um, with a bundle, I found them all like this together in a local game store here in Indiana. Um, like I wouldn't go out of my way just to buy a few of them, but they were all sitting together, and I'm like, hey, those are pretty sweet. Um, it's different. I like to collect different things, especially like that I don't see all the time. Uh, I asked the lady, how much do you want? This lady's known for uh, really having high prices on stuff, so I thought she was going to ask me, like, ask for like $30 or something for all of them. But she's like, oh, 50 cents a disc. So I got 22 of these. 50 cents a disc, spent just under $12. Uh, and I think it was well worth it. Um, I'll go through them now. They're actually pretty cool. Um, most of them are in order. But this one is dated May 2003. Uh, it is the Return to Castle Wolfenstein Tides of War. Um, and these are all like demo. It includes A lot of them include demos. So you can read the magazine and it has the demos on here. That's number 18 for that year. <sighs> Trying to catch up, make sure I don't have any questions. All right, Bernsey. All right, next one I've got is... Now, let me know if you guys have played any of these games. Uh, I don't think I've played a lot of these games growing up. Some maybe, or at least I heard of them, but let me know. Yeah, and this Wolfenstein, I never played it. So, I've got Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. This one's got eight new playable demos. So, the amount of demos on these totaled is incredible. There's just tons of demos to play and they include like exclusive content um this one is rainbow six three squad base counter terror it's the 25th disc of december which is uh issued in december 2003 so it's cool number 26 is holiday 2003 project gotham racing 2 so Andrew, um, I actually don't have any spare codes right now, man. I'm sorry. I, I'm for the first, one of the first times I actually ran out of codes, and uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do for. I hope I find a code dumpster diving so I can give it away in my next dumpster video. But I wish I could help you out, man. Um, sorry. I hope you I hope you find something. Maybe, maybe go dumpster diving. You'll find one then. Oh, dude, Burnsy, I didn't know they don't send the demos anymore. There's nothing like, sometimes, dude, there's nothing like a physical copy. Like, it's history, okay? Especially if you love, if you're passionate about it. <sighs> okay. Did you like Sands of, uh, was it Sands of Time? Yeah. Oh, it includes, it includes Freedom Fighters. I remember playing that game on the PS2. Freedom Fighters was awesome. I put a lot of local multiplayer with that game. Let's see. I've got uh, January 20, uh, 2004, disc number 27, Deus Ex Invisible War. Let's see. And some, actually, some of these guys, some have the labels ripped off. Let me see if I can find one that's not. Those have all their back labels ripped off, but 
like this one here doesn't have its label ripped off I don't know if it makes a difference but <sighs> number 28 of February 2004 is everything or nothing 007 number 29 of March of 2004 is Ninja Gaiden looks like the first one it's kind of cool uh, I've got number 30 here, April 2004. Man, it's amazing to think that these things are over 12 years old. Uh, Breakdown. I never... Oh, I think I heard of this game. I might have even played it on the on the original Xbox. I've got May 2004, Disc 31, Alias. Just like, what, the TV show? Or is that the... Is it my thinking of something different? I've got the Chronicles of Riddick uh, Escape from Butcher Bay. Yeah. That one, as you can see, they've got, it's number 32. Do something here. I'm watching my stream on a, let's just see how it goes. Hey guys, right 4119 Sweet. Almost there. Oh, this game's awesome! Rally Sport 2 Chat or Rally Sport Challenge 2. Oh, this game was awesome. I loved playing this game. Number 33, and it's at number 33. That's my lucky number, man. July 2004. So over, yeah, over 12 years ago. I remember playing this, and it's actually, I don't know why this one's backwards compatible, but the first one's not. Or vice versa. I don't remember why, but this one's awesome. If you ever get a chance, pick it up and play it. Uh, Men of Valor. I heard good things about this, actually. I never played it. Number 35. Uh, this 35 of 2004. This one came out in September of 2004. Six playable demos. And it kind of gives you like a, like, a, like a back. On the back, just like some information. But this one is Def Jam Fight. For New York, uh, number 36 from October of 2004. Kind of cool. Got Outrun 2 by Sega, uh, number 37 of November 2004. Moving on, I've got number 38, uh, which came out in December 2004. Uh, I've got Dead or Alive Ultimate with seven playable demos. Pretty cool. Nice! Nice, Burnsy. Cam, as far as a, a 360S, eh, maybe. I did, I did come across some cash earlier from making some deals on some of the stuff I found, so maybe. I want to say I'd probably... <sighs> It'd be a nice deal, but I would probably never play it. I just would probably get like a, an early version 360, but I appreciate it though. Thank you. I've got number 39, uh, which is Conquer Live and Reloaded with seven playable demos. That one is Holiday 2004. Number 40, January 2005. We're still over 11 years old. Uh, yeah, 11. Almost 12 in a way. Number 40. One of the best games I ever played on the PS2 or original Xbox, hands down, open world games. The first Mercenaries. Awesome game. I didn't really get to play Mercenaries 2 as much, though I heard good things about it. But Mercenaries 1, awesome game. I have this game on PC now. Uh, this one I'm going to show you. It's number 41 of February of 2005. It's Star Wars Republic Commando. And I actually, I have this as a gift somebody gave me on PC. I could always play it, but I just need to reinstall it. So, Oh, here we go. I used to have this one too. 44, this 44, May 2005 with four all new playable demos. Doom 3. I had Doom 3, the uh, focus. The, uh, like, Steelbook Collector's Edition or whatever that had Doom 1 and 2. 
If you guys ever find that, pick that up. It's actually a really good deal. You can get it probably for like less than 10 bucks. If not, 10 bucks. Still a really good deal. Ooh, here. This is another fun game I played. This is like one of my first multiplayer experiences other than Halo 2. Um, Battlefield 2 Modern Combat, and that's number 47 of August 2005. Uh, I think there was two different Battlefield 2s, but this is the one I played online, and it was awesome. So pick that up, play it. You can't play online because they shut down the servers, obviously, but you can still um, play the campaign. You can switch from guys to guys as you're playing. It's kind of cool. Ooh, this one's another good one. Probably the best of the bunch, people would probably agree. November of 2005... This is number 50, with 11 all-new playable demos. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Oh, yeah. Star Wars Battlefront. Who's that Pokemon? Kind of scared me. <laughs> uh, I've got December, last but not least. Actually, probably another good one, I think, at least as a series. Castlevania Curse of Darkness. This is number 51 of the December 2005. Yep, with eight new playable demos. I might actually start buying these. These are cool. Just to collect them all. That's what some of the discs look like. They're actually pretty sweet. They're all yellow, so it's not like I need to show all of them. But they're all, they have that yellow look to them. So... That's it for the pickups, guys. Um, that happened all last week, this past week. The Xbox was yesterday, and then the webcam was a few days ago. And then the, the discs, I think, were maybe four or five days ago. But, yeah. We're just getting started, boys and girls. love to make certain kinds of content not because of the views not because of the money do it because you love to do it no other reason